What's going on DJBooth.net? This is Kareem and I'm here in the lab to give you guys a quick rundown video review of the new Vestax HMX 05 Pro DJ headphones. Now these are the flagship model headphones from Vestax. They're not really advertised as a DJ model headphone but for the purposes of this review we're going to look at them from a DJ's perspective and we're going to see if these are good enough for you to take into the DJ booth with you and actually DJ with them um, in a DJ setting. So um, right off the top of the bat we're going to see what you get in the box. In the box you're getting your headphones of course. You also get a removable three foot flat cable. This is a flat, completely flat cable so it can't be tangled. Um, I actually like that. Some other DJs like to have a coiled cable so that they can stretch and move. Um, but personally I find that the coiled cable gets caught up on different knobs and things like that when you're in the DJ booth. So personally I do like the smaller three foot flat cable. So you got a check, check box there. Both ends are gold plated. The end that you slide into the left ear cup is straight. And the end that you slide into your DJ equipment or your other unit is angled. So you have your removable cable. Um, you also have your headphones themselves and also in the box is your gold plated uh, quarter inch adapter. You don't get any type of uh, carry pouch or case but these do fold down into a smaller form factor so that you can travel with them, you can bring them with you on the go. So after you have your cable, cable connected and it's removable that means it's replaceable. Um, you next up have your actual ear cups. The whole design of the headphone is basically all plastic except for your screws and maybe your little bar that goes and joins the hinge. Um, but other than that you have a completely plastic hinge and a pl completely plastic design. Your ear cups are completely plastic and they sit on a s small swivel like a joint, like a hip joint or a shoulder joint where you have like a swivel ball in there so you try to get a little bit more comfort as it clamps down on your head. Um, next up you have your 40 millimeter drivers. You have pretty good sound quality from them. We'll get to that in a second. Um, next up you have your leather material and your memory foam on your 40 millimeter driver. These are on the ear headphones. They're not over the ear so they fit comfortably or perfectly on the ear when you're listening. Um, next up you have your nice thick plastic design cool retro throwback look to it um, comes in the black and red color scheme this will match the PMC 05 Pro mixer or your Vestax VCI 380 or VCI 400 uh, DJ controllers um, next up you have your hinge when you move up along from the ear cup to the hinge again they fold down so that they're smaller form factor as you move up to the headband your headband underneath doesn't have any padding there which is kind of one of my gripes with the unit. Um, there's no headband padding at the top so after about 20 or 30 minutes of use you will get a little bit of um, discomfort or pain from the top of the headband where it contacts to the top of your head um, and also the gripping force of the headband is pretty tight as well so I found myself having to take them off to get a rest because I was also um, at the mercy of the headphones when they were clamped down on my head after 20 to 30 minutes I just had to remove it or take them off altogether so um, good for short listening um, situations but in long-term listening um, you're not really going to enjoy them unless your head maybe is different than mine but the clamping force and the pressure on them was a little bit unbearable for me after about 30 minutes of use other than that you see the Vestax branding here on the headband and the headband can bend and flex, flex and twist it's like a rubberized type material um, feels like plastic rubberized on the bottom but very flexible and twistable so it won't break or pop on you in that regard um, in terms of, of sound quality um, these headphones are very mid heavy what I mean by that is that the mids are raised in volume as opposed to the bass being heavy or the um, highs being heavy the mids are pretty heavy in this so that is adequate for good playback you have pretty accurate playback and um, when distortion goes awry after you get to the reds or when you're in a very 75% or, or higher volume situation 
um, you'll start noticing distortion more on your lows and your highs than you will on your mids, which is a pretty good thing, meaning that they'll perform well in the DJ environment where you'll be able to get the main gist of your playback uh, situation. Um, the bass is pretty deep, but it doesn't boom and it doesn't vibrate like some other DJ headphones. So if you're a DJ who likes very heavy bass or vibrant bass, these might not be for you. Again, these are very mid-heavy, so you get really accurate mids and you get pretty crisp highs as well. Um, we tested this out on our PMC 05 Pro 4 mixer along with the Tractor Control Z2 mixer. Both times the volume was adequate for DJ use, adequate for the booth. And you do get pretty good isolation with these and um, you won't get so much sound leaking in as well or leaking out. So both ways you have pretty good isolation. They do isolate pretty good. Again, they clamp down pretty hard which helps with isolation but it's pretty hard on your comfort level. So um, what we have here is a pretty good all around headphone. If you're a Vestax type of person and you have Vestax branded gear, this is a perfect match for you. Um, for others, there may, may be other DJ headphones out there on the market for a similar price point that you may want to look at as a competitor. If you want more bass, there's others out there. And if you want maybe a little bit more comfort, there are also others out there. But we'll still recommend these and you can use them in the DJ booth. The sound is adequate enough. Um, you do have a nice fold collapsible design so you can carry them with you on the go. And you also get a nice removable flat cable so if anything happens to the cable you can always replace it. And it's an overall good cable as well. So for more on the full written review you can head on over to www.djboot.net slash djs. You can also follow me on Twitter that way you know when these videos and demonstrations are coming out. The Twitter handle there is at djblaze underscore djbooth. And keep on subscribing to the YouTube channel. That way you get these videos as soon as they come out. As soon as they're made live, you'll get it first. And the YouTube username here is Real DJ Blaze. Thanks for watching.